It's snatch day. We're doing a snatch gauntlet. Every minute on the minute, starting at why are you back? <laughs> my breath, my breath smell bad. Every minute on the minute, starting at 185 pounds, do one snatch and add 10 pounds every minute. To failure. To failure. He's gonna fail. He's gonna fail. Actually, he'll probably hit a big number. Who's gonna hit? What do I think he'll hit? 275 or 85. Mike, how do you feel? Today? Oh, I'm tired. 275. For a snatch gauntlet like this, one rep every minute like is not very fast. Um, we've been doing like a lot of snatch endurance work, so one rep every minute is really like gonna act, gonna actually serve as a pretty good warm up leading up. So it starts pretty light. I'll probably build to like 225 and warm up just to feel something heavy and get my positions open. But beyond that, I, I won't go any heavier than that. I'll just kind of let the gauntlet as I go be my warm up as you build up. But in terms of warm up, nothing else other than just getting positions open and uh, being super mobile. And then, like I said, build to 225 and then just let the let the gauntlet serve as the, the warm up as you start with the lighter loads. So I think the reason a lot of people hit PRs or do better in a gauntlet style is they, I always feel like you warm up properly or you warm up a little more than probably what you normally would. So for most of them, it might be like Mike would go from 185 to 225 to 255, 75, 95, where in a gauntlet style like this, going from 85, 95, 205, adding 10 pounds, you start getting warmer and warmer and warmer, so by the time you start getting to maximal lifts, you feel better and you're kind of like, hopefully hitting the same positions every single time. So when you start going for a max, it's like go time. And you know you're like on a clock, so you're being a little more aggressive. Um, I mean, I and they're just fun. Like, they're just kind of different to do. And it's like, reminds you of like a competition setting of knowing that you're on a clock. If I don't hit this lift in that amount of time, then that lift's done, but I think they're pretty cool. I actually do better either after a Metcon building to a max or on the clock, because then I don't have time to think about everything and freak out. Do you like Snatch Gauntlet? Gauntlet. Is this, can you say it right? Gauntlet. Say it twice. Gauntlet. That was one. Gauntlet. That's one. Gauntlet, gauntlet. <laughs> gauntlet, gauntlet. Get better at the sport of CrossFit alongside some of the best athletes in the world in our online training program, The Design. Head over to our website, trainingthinktank.com backslash DSGN to learn more. A gauntlet is a good way to train strength endurance that's a little bit more sport specific. So in weightlifting, you might just have to build to a max and get a couple lifts. In a gauntlet, you gotta make a lift, put your weight on, go up in weight. It simulates kind of what we see in the sporting environment. So it's a good way just to do CrossFit style lifting. So let's see how it goes today. Training, training, one, two, three. That's what I'm going to talk about. Yes, sirree. All right, Monday's training. Snatch gauntlet, 185, 125 for the females. We're adding 10 pounds on the minute until failure for the men, five pounds for the women. Now, this means the women that have big snatch weights are likely going to take more lifts. So if you want, you can either just do it this way and do it with more lifts. Or if you want to start at a little bit of a higher um, opening weight and try to estimate, let's say an elite male athlete, let's say 275 is a relatively good snatch for an elite male athlete. That means they're hitting 85, 95, 05, 15, 25. 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 10 lifts. So if you know your 1RM is somewhere around 200 pounds or something, then you can work backwards and go 200, 195, 190, 85, 80, 75, 70, 65, 60, 55. And you could start at 155 instead of 125. I know this was something that happened in Rogue. But I just left it with the same type of dynamics that we see in the sport. It's up to you if you want to make that adjustment for yourself. If you're going to do more volume, that's fine. Just think of those opening lifts more as technical work for you.
295. Pull needs to be a little bit stronger right now. But uh, everything else felt good. Happy with that. It's a wrap, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Project Pata in this thing, man. Hey, look, man. Thank y'all for watching Train Think Tank YouTube channel. Y'all hit that motherfucking subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead, man. Thank y'all for watching the channel, you know what I'm saying? Hit that motherfucking subscribe button. Let it be known what it be known what it be known, you know what I'm saying? Pata.